high bishop, there is this verse in the Bible that says the things that I don't want to do are the things I do. And the things that I do are the things that I do. What drives us to do that? That's okay, that's from Barak. Uh, the, uh, the final question, they're still coming. How should we practice, practice ethics in giving? Thank you, over to you, Bishop. Wow, those are many questions. <laughs> Those are many questions. Let me let me start with Barak, which is easy because uh, we already talked with it. I talked about it rather in the beginning. You remember I mentioned Romans chapter seven, which is where uh, that comes from. Uh, the struggle between what I know is right to do, I do not do, and the things I know are uh, uh, wrong to do. Those are the things that I end up doing. So that, that is uh, a struggle that I addressed earlier. I hope the person was here when we talked about it. It's a human struggle. And as I said, uh, uh, when I talked about it, is that you have to begin to overcome that struggle in small things. Uh, and it is as you overcome, I call it the, the principle of small wins. When you overcome in small things, when you refuse in small things, then you are able to refuse bigger things. Let me use again the story of uh, Daniel and the, the other three friends, uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. When they got into Babylon and they were recruited into Nebuchadnezzar's uh, school or university to learn uh, you know, the, the life and culture of the Chaldeans to be leaders in his government, when the food was brought, they refused to eat that food because they knew that it was offered to idols. And so they made it clear right from the beginning, we are not going to eat this food. So that is what I call a small win. It was not a big thing in, in our eyes as we see it uh, today, but it was a matter of principle that then need a foundation on how they are going to conduct themselves in this foreign land, how they are going to conduct themselves within this foreign culture. So by the time now there was the bowing before the image, they had already developed that uh, stature. They had developed within themselves that principle that could uh, they could stand before the king courageously and say, we are not going to bow. So if they had been compromising in smaller things like eating the food and so on, they would not have had the, what we call the moral courage to stand when now the, bow, the, the fire, uh, the fiery furnace was right before them. So it is important that in this struggle, it starts with small things that come your way. And when you say to no to small things, it is the only way that you develop a, a life of principle and a life of integrity that can carry you even when you come to the bigger things uh, in the future. But if you compromise in small things, you will not have the moral courage to confront the big things when they come to you. Mm -hmm.